Hello and welcome back to the channel. We've got another review and this time it's going to be the first part of a two-part review in that this is an Airfix Club kit and it's the Operation Torch, the Sparks of Liberty. Uh, this kit includes both the Fairy Swordfish Mark 1 and the Hawker Sea Hurricane Mark 12. Um, this kit is only available to Airfix Club members and um, we're going to be looking at what's in the box today. It feels quite heavy for two small kits like this, so I'm interested to see what's in there. So first of all, the box art. It's an Airfix Club kit, so it's very sort of plain if you like. Um, we've got a picture of the two models that you're getting. Uh, on the side, you've got a little bit of information on each of the models. Uh, it's skill level three. Uh, some basic stuff on the side and just a warning on the back back plate if you like nothing on the back it's just plain uh, these don't go on showing shops or anything they're just you pick them from their website and they send them out um, and you're supposed to get them at a cheaper price or whatever um, I got these as part of the money they give you when you join. They give you a voucher for £15 to spend online. Uh, the £15 will just about cover the uh, shipping. Only kidding. Well, unless you live abroad and then it probably will only just cover the shipping. So there we go. Let's have a look uh, what we get in the box. We're only going to cover one of the reviews um, today. So let's go over to the bench. So here we are. Let's open the box and see what's in here. Like I say, this does feel quite heavy for two little kits. Um, these kits would normally not... I'm interested to see what we've got. I've never opened a, an Airfix Club kit before, so it's quite full of plastic. Give them that. I was expecting it all to be slopping about. So there we've got uh, the one kit, which that will be the Sea Hurricane, I think. And then we've got, wow, quite a lot of plastic in this one. This will be the fairy swordfish. That is surprising. I wasn't expecting that much. It's 172nd scale kit uh, compared to the sea hurricane. There's um, a lot more in that. So we'll review the bigger one. Oh, and we've got some instructions in the bottom. And some decals. So let's have a quick look at the instructions. There's only one instruction booklet for both builds. So nice bit of art on the front. And we're only interested for this review, we just want the fairy swordfish, don't we? Which is handy because it looks as though that is the first kit, yeah. So as always, cockpit sort of areas going in first. Uh, we build that up, uh, is it two-seater? Looks as though there's room for two seats. And some spars going in there. Uh, you paint the inner sort of cockpit area and then the cockpit's getting added to it and then the fuselage halves are going together the sort of wing base wing roots if you like they're going on and then the base that goes up to meet the fuselage 
Uh, I think these are called wing spars. Uh, they're going on. And then we've got some engine detail going together here. And uh, yeah, engine detail, propeller going on. Uh, some more wing parts going together. And then the rear wing. And then we've got something of uh, an angle set up here. I'm not sure what this is for. This is for, is this for if you want your wings folded? I believe the fairy swordfish could have folded wings. I'm not certain though. I'm sure it's uh, an option on one of the newer kits that's just come out. And there we go. Some uh, holes being drilled on on here and uh, there's an option there yeah assembly of the wings together there all going together the wings all sort of coming together in one there Leave to set for one hour, it's telling us there as the top wing goes on. Lots of uh, lots of steps in the wings to, to lots of steps putting the wings together. So you know, going to need to take care in uh, what you're doing. I think yeah, you can have them uh, folded back. Yeah, it is possible to have them folded back. So not folded up, folded back by the looks of it. And then we've got uh, more details going on the wings. That would explain why there's so much plastic there. And there's your finished uh, craft there, either full or folded. I don't know whether to go with folded. I've never done folded wings before. I'm quite tempted. And then we've got a nice little sort of colour matte paper uh showing the decal placement and the colors so that's that's nice uh a newer type of design i think for airfix that instruction booklet compared to their old stuff we've got decals and airfix use cartograph i'm sure they do superb quality they are I mean some decals you just look at and you know the instant you look at them that they are phenomenal and this is one of those instances come on there we go you've got to see these these are so bold uh, bold colors nice crisp edges and they are fantastic and now it's focusing out again they are in register I believe would expect no less really from cartograph let me see is it going to go let's move out a bit Excellent, so we're going to zoom in for the sprue part so we can get a bit of a closer look and that way there we go, so they're the decals and that is for both uh, planes Bob's going do lally upstairs so this will have to be my last one for today I think Quite a big sprue here. Three big sprues. One, two, four big sprues. So let's take the first one out. And there we go. We've got some engine engine there. Excellent. These are the wing spars, I think. Some more engine detail. A uh, little sort of wheel that goes on the back. I think, is it called the jockey wheel? I'm not certain on that. 
and we've got some cowlings here nice detail on this engine and then we come over to the fuselage halves and the bottom and we've got lots of recessed panel work there going on we can see the ribbing going down the sides of the fuselage so there's a texture there that's very nice um, we've got two little I'm just having a close look to see whether they're bolts with a plastic or there is a texture there and I think it's deliberate um, I think it's given that uh, I really need to show you this up close so that you can um, make your own assessment of what I'm seeing um, so we're looking come on So we're sort of around this area here, there's some, um, I'm going to put it on manual focus a second so that I can, right, I'm going to I don't know if you can see that um, you've got this rough texture going on there and it almost looks like you've got little pimples in the plastic. Now I'm not certain, I think I've got something I can point with, Ooh, apologies for knocking the camera, um, where's the cocktail sticks gone, oh, there we go. So. Right, what I'm seeing is blemishes in the plastic all around here. There it's sort of, there's a couple of pimples there. And then all around here. If it was on metalwork, I would say that it's they're trying to represent a bit of fatigue, a bit of rust starting to come through. Um, yeah it's and it's back on here as well you've got like a a rough finish there oh battery's going i don't believe it see how far we can get so there we have that um that's uh, you'll have to decide for yourselves what you think that is but um, I don't know. Judgment will have to wait on that one. Another set of wings. Nice rib detail on them. And some more detail, small parts there. Lots of detail on those. And then here's the top of the cockpit where the pilots are sit. And looks to be some sort of external tank maybe. Nothing to worry about on the inside because these are all going to be enclosed. So. My apologies for that. Um, the other camera the battery went because I've done a couple of um, reviews this morning on it 
so I'm now using the webcam, um, which is uh, a newer newer camera than the old webcam. Uh, you can probably tell the difference. Um, the older webcam was the one I had all the trouble with. Um, and it just had to be replaced. For those that are wondering, this is the ad. The sorry, the old one was an advent. This is a log Logitech C one six or six one six one five C six one five. Anyway, back to the review. I just gotten this sprue out when the, the camera went. And I think we'd had a look at it. Uh, I don't know whether I've given you a close-up view of it or not. So let me just take me a minute to position these cameras for the best. Um... There we go, we've got this one over here, so we've got a couple of lights going on. So there we go. Um, got a nice bit of detail going on here. Where are we? Nice bit of detail going on there. Move that into the middle so we've got a better... A view on that. Up there, that's it. So we've got some nice detail going on there. Some tiny pieces. You can see the size of them compared to my nail. There. Um, then we're going to go along. Then we've got the nice rib detail on the wings. And again there, some nice detail on the wings. This is a perfect example of where the other web camera failed. I could never have got to show you this detail on these wings. It just wouldn't have done it. Um, we've got some nice recess panel lines going on on here, along here. Uh, so yeah, very good. Uh, very good moulding from Airfix. Uh, if I had to criticise, it would be that the sprue gates themselves are really quite chunky um, on some of the parts. Considering some of the parts are very small and very fragile, they do seem to be excessively um, chunky and uh, could very easily be damaged if you're not using the right tools so as always I would recommend um, Zurons or Tamiya clip or something similar to that I would not recommend using the side cutters that you get in tool kits um, it will almost certainly damage and destroy these parts that said let's move on to the next piece which I think is a mirror of the one we've just looked at so we have got some dimpling on these wings so now this would make me feel like all this texture that we were on about earlier is actually intended um, I don't know if you can, it's on this one here, you can see it quite clearly, it's quite pronounced, it's almost like braille, um, and on there, let's flip over and look on the other side and see, let me just check, see whether, yeah, so basically these are positioning, they look like positioning holes or even holes where your thread might go. Um, I've never threaded a plane yet uh, on, on a sort of biplane, so I'm not going to offer any comments on how best to do it. Uh, not until I've actually had a go myself. I'll be honest, it frightens the life out of me, the thought of having to thread a plane like that. 
um, but I am going to give it a go and probably on this one um, I was considering doing this as one of my vanilla builds but uh, I think I'm actually going to do a full build on this and paint and weather as well so it is very nice it's very nicely molded I'll give Fairfix that uh, apart from the sprue gates as I say they're not um, the bombs they are two piece bombs so there will be seen there will be seam lines to remove from them and uh, seam lines is something I'm going to be covering in one of my uh, how to videos very soon and we've got some roof spars roof spars wing spars if that's what they are indeed and and struts wing struts excellent sort of detail on them nice panel work it's the propeller uh, sprue gates are on the blade so care is going to need to be taken when removing those uh, one of the parts that you definitely don't want to misshape or bend or anything like that uh, the tail tail area of the plane and then we've got the roof stretch spars whatever they're called going on here so exceptional quality there as well for airfix airfix gets a bit of a bad um, bit of a bad press really at times and some of it i'll be honest is deserved not all of it some of it now we've got sprue E, but it doesn't actually say which kit that's from. Let me just check. Right, I think this is from the Fairy Swordfish. I'm not going to get it out, purely because the, it's barely even a piece. Uh, there's a small, small, tiny piece of clear plastic there. Um, it's not like a whole canopy. Um, it's fairly clear. Fairly. I mean, it's hard to tell in the... Oh, well, let's, let's just take it out and have a quick look. May as well. Oh yeah, it's fairly clear. That's about as best I can give it. But it is a small piece. Uh, it's the, the view through it is distorted, but um, that's not all I can really say on the matter. I don't know, I'm trying to see how close. There we go. There we go. Or scratched or anything just a bit of distortion when you look through it so we finally made it through uh, not too many calamities a damaged battery but that's about it not damaged sorry flat a flat battery uh, I think I did I got through one review today without any incident which was uh, better than normal. I normally have untold calamities happen while I'm trying to do reviews. So thanks for watching. That was the Fairy Swordfish, one seventy second scale, I think. I'm just going to check the side of the box. Yeah, it's one seventy sixth. His armor. That's it.
and 70 second is aeroplane so thanks for watching don't forget to hit the thumbs up we need to get the thumbs up going because uh, not many people are pressing that and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed again thanks for watching and I look forward to talking to you all soon bye for now